Hey guys, Paul Smerge here, and uh, this should be episode 31 of my Sniper Only World Commander series. Yes, indeed. Um, <laughs> yes, which shall we play today? Uh, yeah. I think I can either drop zone or maybe, maybe you know, go back to hardcore game type. Actually, I think I'll do that. Why not? I'll just mix in something random. Hardcore kill confirmed. Sure. Just randomly mix that in there. Yeah, we need to get this motherfucker off our team, man. Alright. Oh, yeah. We got some... We talk shit about him, he's on our team. We got some people talking in the game chat, apparently. Sorry, we'll just go to that and fucking leave his ass to himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, uh... Yeah, I'm probably just... Wait, I think they're on the enemy team. So it doesn't matter if I, like, mute them or not. Yeah. Now when I kill them, I can hear their reaction. <laughs> They're gonna be like, "What, Dragonov?" <clears throat> or something like that. That's often what happens, anyways. Yeah, can't do that. I really don't think I should have died right there. I honestly should have been able to not get spawn killed, and I really should have been able to climb through that window. Man, I really hate the retarded ass jump in this game. I mean, they need to just fix the jump, make it so you can actually jump through that window. It's, like, so irritating trying to jump through that window. And I, if I got up there in time, I probably could have killed that guy, I think. I, I really do legitimately think I could have been able to kill that guy. But, of course, this game just has to screw me over in every feasible way. Because it hates me. Who ever thought of a game actually hating somebody? You, you'd think it would be not really... Oh, fuck you and your... <laughs> He's gonna say Dragunov or something, or Sniper. I don't know. Eh, uh, funny. Ah, you wanna freaking like, not... Like, just randomly spawn me in front of two enemies. I mean, seriously. Alright. Oh crap, that was bad. Do I have a throwing knife on this? I do, I shouldn't throw in my throwing knife. I thought I had a grenade for some reason. If I threw my throwing knife, there's a small chance I would hit him. And uh, that would have been cool if I did. That guy just got thrown knifed. Speaking of throwing knives, that guy just got owned by one. Probably. Maybe not, maybe he was like just camping prone and got thrown knife on the back. But then I would still say owned because he's a camper and he deserves to die. From a throwing knife especially. What are you doing prone? What are you doing on the floor? Get off that floor. It's sturdy, you'll probably get sick from laying on that floor. That's bad aim. 40 kills with extended mags, cool. Ah, oh, what the? I don't even know where I died from. Here, team vests, get some, they're good for you. Get vests, team. They're good for you. Alright. My UAV did not last long. I thought it would have lasted longer than that. Maybe I'm just not sure how... Maybe I just wasn't paying attention how long it was actually up. Whatever. Kinda wanted to kill that guy, but I probably would have died if my teammate didn't kill him, knowing, knowing my luck. I probably would have gotten a hit marker on him, even though that's probably not possible. Uh, maybe I would have, like, shot him through the wall or something and got a hit marker that way. So, you know, I just gotta get hit markers in every feasible way. Oh, look at that guy shooting me in the back. While I'm in midair and everything. Ooh, that spawn. Thanks, game. At least I was able to kill him and not get spawn killed. Like I normally would have. Because <laughs> I'm not... I, I, whenever I get shot at and killed when I'm... Right after spawning is when I'm not paying attention. I don't usually pay that much attention right after I spawn. I shouldn't have to, to be quite honest. In any previous Call of Duty, I normally didn't have to. Every once in a while I'd get a bad spawn, but not very often. But in this game, you really do have to pay attention as soon as you spawn in, because if you don't, you're there's a good chance you're going to die. That was a kind of dumb... I, I mean, that kind of was a spawn kill. That was a spawn kill. That was a true spawn kill right there. I mean, that was a true spawn kill. I mean, I called in my UAV as soon as I spawned, and by the time I was dead, I, I didn't get my weapon back, like, from recovering from 
pulling out the UAV. That's just how fast of a kill that was. Oh wow, who would have thought you'd randomly turn around and come back down? I would not have guessed. I honestly would not, not have guessed that you would do that. Really? You want to freaking eat four more bullets? Because come on, I, I think that should have killed you. At least one of those. At least one of those should have killed him. Really? Give me more freaking gay final chance stand stupidity. At least I can get my own tags. It's kind of lagging there for a second too. It's kind of had some frame rate issues right there. If you know what I mean. All right. Well, that sucks. There, come on, hip fire, and there we go. And just panic hip fire spray. But it worked somehow because he didn't even hit me with a single bullet. Which sucks for him. Wait, don't I have a... No, I don't have a UAV. Wait. Thought I did. I guess not. Fair enough. I suppose I remember using it. Oh, lagging a little bit. Just a little bit of lag right there. Maybe that wasn't the best place to drop that, but I guess it was okay. I mean, why not? It's in a building, at least. And that's a corner camper. Hardcore corner camper. Get out that corner, you're bad. Spawn killed in the back, cool. Modern Warfare 3 spawns for the win. Actually, for the loss. That was sarcasm. Really, I thought he was going to go... Ah, I should have expected to climb over it. They always do. Well, no, they don't always. They often do. I should have expected that, though. Really? You want to freaking kill me while camping prone or whatever with a Type 95 one second before I get those tags? Or that tag? Like, I mean, really. That's just dumb. There we go. I think that's one's my own tag. Really? Two dog enough head markers on that one. Yeah, you mad, bro? Just kind of running through these guys with my handgun here. My handguns. I'd spot the dog and up again. Oh, you lucky that didn't kill you. Man, I was so close to him. That Nova Scope had like, probably had like a 98% chance of hitting. Of course, you know it's my luck that it's the 2% chance that it goes way off to the side of the possible range of the Nova Scope and um, actually misses. That was absolutely pathetic. I am positive that I scoped in on him and fired at least one bullet that actually went through him. I'm going to blame that on hit detection because I really think that was a hit detection problem. That was pretty sad. There we go. Guy sucks. Yeah, alright. I went top of the team with a Dragunov. Get muted. Get muted. Oh, you mute me too. I don't even know. Final stand, maybe? Mark 14, whatever. Noob. Alright, even though I went negative, I went top of the team and I beat my teammate's score by... I almost doubled his score. That's kind of sad. With a drug it up, I mean, really. There are much better weapons I could have been using, but... Well, my, my team just is horrible. <laughs> hey, Thermal for the drug it up, finally. That's actually kind of nice. Striker? Okay. Too bad I can't use that, even though I probably wouldn't, because... It's just a little bit overpowered. Just a little bit. Well, at least once you get damage or range on it, I think that thing's overpowered. As opposed to the other shotguns. Not not quite so much, but Striker in particular. Even though they patched it, I think it's still a little too good. Just a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Well, at least I got Thermal for the dog. No, that's going to help reduce the recoil a little bit. Once I get Variable Zoom, that's probably the one I want to use the most, but... Hmm. Yes. Alright, let's go into a... I'm going to little, good old 
game type here that I don't know which one. Um, Team Defender? Let's try it. Why not? Something a little different. I hear it gives good XP. We're going to change this. should be interesting. Not too many camping spots on this one. Not like really a bunch of whole really newbie buildings that the flag carry can camp in. Which is good. There's only like one building on the whole map, so this should be pretty good for a team defender because normally it gets really campy once one team has the flag. On this one, I could expect a little bit less camping. You see that lower scope zoom? doesn't zoom in as much. And uh, it reduces the recoil by quite a bit. Not to mention I can see through smoke and stuff, which is beneficial. I do indeed like that. That was bad, I know. I, I'm fully aware that I just failed epically right there. Maybe I should get this, get this flag. I know they're all going to come after me now, but... But hey, whatever. I get points for it. I get all those team assist points. As long as my team are actually getting kills. Really? And how the hell do you get through my team without any of them killing you? My gosh, my team is pathetic. That was a ridiculous spawn. I mean, here, seriously, how... My freaking... My, my dog could have picked a better spawn than that. Seriously, this game has just atrocious spawn system. I spawn right in front of an enemy like that. Cool spawn, bro. Cool spawn. Give me more of those ridiculous spawns. Why not? That was a horrible aim, but whatever. I killed him. A headshot there. Nice little headshot. Woot. Go on, Spee. Ah. You're lucky I was damaged. I might have killed him. That was kind of cool, though. Nice little streak right there. That was like a triple spray. A headshot, and then I got like a triple spray. Good distance one, too. It's not like a close-range triple spray. That was like... That was some cool stuff right there. What's a the Thermal Dragunov? I mean, who uses Thermal Dragunov? I do, because I'm weird. You know, you think you would freaking die after a few bullets, man. After you eat a few freaking bullets, you might want to just, you know, drop dead. I mean, seriously, just... Just not survive like you do. Because people love to do that to me. You mad, bro? <laughs> I don't even know where I died from. Hey, whatever. Um, that was a kind of a cool little triple spray, though. I kind of like that. Oh, headshot followed by triple spray. Of course I'm going to be the final kill. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, surprising. I thought I was going to be. Well, that's cool. That's, uh, final kill cam was by some guy camping prone with a sniper. Cool. Cool. Okay. At least it wasn't on me. That, that's a good thing, sort of. That, that's, a, that's not bad. Hmm. All right. Forty-one. Getting close to level forty-nine. Doing pretty good, actually. This is like episode thirty-one, and I'm already up to for level forty-eight, almost forty-nine. This is a. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I don't want to play outpost. If I would for downturn, I might have been able to get it, but you know what? Whatever. It's it's whatever. It's whatever. You know. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just go into that again. Different lobby this time. Oh, mission, okay. Hopefully I don't have to get on the enemy team of that VG clan. Because I don't like playing against a clan, it's not that good. Dude, that guy is already 18th prestige. Wow, level 56, 18th prestige. That's kind of ridiculous. Wait, no. Is that 18th? Yeah, that's 18th. Yeah. Roman numerals. Yeah, I'm actually on their team. That's cool. But wow, that's like, that's high rank, bro. I bet there's someone who's already at level 20 or rank 20, 20th prestige, like rank 80. It's just because there, there's got to be some guy who plays this game relentlessly, like hours on end, and is actually like really good and gets tons of great scores every game, and just pulls off amazing scores because of that, and then got a, a prestige five times in a few days, probably. I bet that's happened. I mean, I'm, I've heard of people getting 
first prestige on like the first day a game comes out. So, I mean, you know, whatever. People can do that. Oh, uh, I do believe one time in Black Ops I actually prestige. I mean, I leveled up like something, something around like 60 times, 60 or maybe like 70 times, like level ups. Not, not prestiges, obviously. Oh, cool. Machine pistol to the back. A Kimbo machine pistol. This with Kimbo machine pistols, just a little bit overpowered. Uh, yeah, something like, leveled up like something like 60 or 70 times over one weekend. Of course, it was double XP weekend, and I was like going like super try hard on that, on that weekend because I really wanted to level up. I was like, I believe I was like sixth, sixth prestige. Actually, no, wait. I remember what happened. I started off the weekend at fifth prestige, like about to hit sixth, and then I ended the prestige at just after starting seventh. Which was pretty cool. So I went through six like it was nothing. I'm liking this thermal. This is really working out for me. I mean, thermal jogging off with kick, I, I recommend it. Not something most people would recommend, but I recommend it. Actually, I should not drop that right now. I should go over here and get killed by this camper. No. Let's not get killed by that camper. Oh, I got killed by the camper. Hey, look, I spawned over here. Let's let's drop this. Actually, no. I'm going to save it for a few more seconds or something. You suck, bro. Seriously, a, mach a Kimbo machine pistol. I don't care which machine pistol it is. It's just annoying. It's just annoying. If I were to ever use a Kimbo machine pistol, though, I mean, I have before, but not very much. If I were to, I would probably just go with the G18 just because it's, like, the least overpowered of them all. And I might actually do that sometimes just because it makes a powerful secondary and... Not too many people will get annoyed by it, as opposed to uh, FMG9s or any other machine pistol, for that matter. But, I mean, of course, it's st I still think it's even G18 Akimbo's overpowered. You're dumb. <laughs> that guy, that killed me. That, I don't like that much. Even though he was using an M16, I guess that's pretty legit. Uh, I guess I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that. Enemy Cobra, come on, really? Yeah, and I'm just, like, getting spawn destroyed right here. It's actually pretty annoying. It's somewhat annoying. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. It's kind of annoying. Oh, I wish that was a headshot. That should have been a headshot, I think. That guy just shot me right through that house. I mean through an entire house. I understand like one wall, but that's a freaking huge that's I'm not I'm sure it's a really small house, but he just shot me right through that house. I mean, he actually shot me clear through a house. That's like, that's ridiculous. That is somewhat ridiculous. Really? You want a noob tube more, you little faggot? Come on. Freaking annoying. Gosh, and noob tubers and like noobs. None of them have any skill, man. That guy's got that assassin pro on because he's bad at this game. Not saying all people who use Assassin Pro are bad at this game, but most of them are because they camp. I just killed him with the last bullet. I thought I reloaded, but I didn't. So that was actually kind of cool because it was headshot. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. It's good, too, that I actually got a headshot because if I didn't, I would have had to reload and I wouldn't have had that kill and I probably would have died, too. So that's kind of cool. Mm. Yeah, I killed him. Ooh, kill flag carrier, like right before dying. That was kind of cool. Really? How does that kill me from there? That was massive range. I'm starting to think the javelin's overpowered a little bit, if it can kill me from there. I mean, that was, like, ridiculous range. That's, like, more than a freaking predator. A predator wouldn't have even killed me right there. That's pathetic. Oh, wow. KCR noob. Cool. Mmm. <clears throat> Hmm, alright. This game is tired. Let's see if we can win this. That would be cool. Oh, 
Well, no, I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> oh well. Uh, there we go. Get some vest. I like me some vest. Yeah. Eh, all right, it went negative three, but eh, whatever. I mean, okay. <laughs> With the Dragunov, I mean, come on, it's a Dragunov thermal. It's it's not the easiest thing to do good with a Dragunov thermal. If I was using an MP7 like this guy, I would have done considerably better. I can promise you that. I would have had a much better score. <laughs> and considering most of my team didn't do very good either, only one other person went. Only one person on my team went positive apparently. At least, that's what it looked like at first glance. Uh, and I, I, I guess I'm not too ashamed that I got such a score with the Dragunov. Hmm. Most headshots, cool. Most thermal kills, yeah, pretty likely. <laughs> I don't, don't think anyone else was using a thermal that game. Most scoped kills, cool. Most sniper headshots, most sniper kills. That's pretty epic. <sighs> Thirty ballistic vests, cool. I believe that's just this prestige. I've called in many more than that outside of this prestige. Yeah, thirty of this prestige, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Alright. What do I get for the Dragonov, I assume? Yes. Chaco, I'll stick with Hex. I don't really like Chaco that much. Yeah, doesn't look particularly good in any way, really. And I'll put that back on. And I don't know. Mm, yeah, I think I'm just gonna back out. All right, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.